Our school community has now experienced months of significant changes and challenges due to the coronavirus pandemic, and there is still uncertainty ahead for the rest of this school year. During the summer, we created a plan that included enough flexibility to allow us to change courses in response to the changes with the pandemic. Currently, the number of positive cases, people in quarantine, and hospitalizations are again rising, and we know that we need to increase our mitigation efforts to continue in-person classes. Governor Holcomb's order to move Indiana to stage five was a relief for many, as people clearly long for the return to normal activities. However, the combination of students in school and opening restaurants and businesses at full capacity is not sending numbers in the right direction. We need to continue to be vigilant. Goshen Community Schools needs everyone to continue to wear masks, wash their hands frequently, and physically distance from others. We also need all students and families to establish their bubble of approximately 10 friends and family members with whom they can comfortably socialize without worrying about spreading the virus. It is the only way we can keep the, from spreading the virus and keep our numbers going in the right direction. As a community, we are at a very crucial moment. We just brought GMS and GHS students back into the classrooms four days a week. But if we cannot bring down the COVID positivity rate in Goshen, we may need to back off in-person classes again. We have fall break coming up, and we know that some families may travel and see people they are not, or who are not, in their bubble. We ask that you continue to wear your masks and be very careful if you plan to travel over the break. If you find out that you have been in contact with someone who later tests positive, we suggest you quarantine upon return to Goshen to help keep teachers and students safe. Additionally, as we head into the winter and cold and flu season, the COVID-19 pandemic will only get more complicated. Flu and COVID symptoms may look alike and cause confusion, and being exposed to the virus and the flu at the same time could potentially be quite serious. Because of that, we encourage everyone in our Goshen Schools family to get a flu shot in the next few weeks. Since March, we have asked a lot of teachers, staff, and Goshen Community Schools families. We know it's a lot to ask you to stay home and to keep your bubble small. Unfortunately, if we do not do that, we could be in for a very difficult winter season. We hope that a vaccine will become available soon, but there is no guarantee that that will happen. All we can do is continue to be vigilant with mitigation efforts. Wearing a mask provides protection, but only if everyone does their part. We appreciate your support and cooperation as we continue to do everything we can to maintain a safe learning environment for our students and staff at Goshen Community Schools. Thank you.